The Mariana Trench is the deepest part of the world's oceans. If sea monsters are out there somewhere, this is definitely where they're hiding. Quite a lot of oddities have been found down there. Here's a few. These are the 20 strangest things found at the bottom of the Mariana Trench. Number 20. Stop Light Loose Jaw In usual circumstances, nobody on Earth would want a nickname like Loose Jaw. It sounds like your jaw is hanging off your face, or that you can't shut up. Actually, I can think of quite a few people who'd relate to that. The stoplight loose jaw doesn't have a problem with talking a lot. It's actually named for the two specialized light-producing organs located beneath each of its eyes. One is green, the other is red. Producing these two colors helps the stoplight loose jaw to see and attack its prey. You see, it can be challenging to spot small fishes and crustaceans at a preferred depth of 1,700 to 13,000 feet below the sea surface where there is little light. Gotta make it as easy as possible, right? Less than 12 inches in length, the fish use their long, needle-like teeth and unique jaws to ensure no passing meal is too good to miss. Despite some of its close relatives migrating to the surface each night, scientists believe that the stoplight loose jaw stays in the deep. As with most species living in the deep sea, the stoplight loose jaw is challenging to study. In fact, everything known about it comes from specimens accidentally caught, and if you accidentally caught this thing, well, that'd be one hell of a shock, I'm guessing. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the juicy topic. What they captured in the Mariana Trench shocked the whole world, and now it'll shock you. From what we've been told, though we must admit to feeling a little dubious about it, this photo was taken by deep sea divers exploring the trench. As you can see, it seems to be a terrifying monster. But is it real? What do you think? As always, let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below by using the hashtag JuicyTopic. Number 19. Snailfish Okay, so SpongeBob adopted a sea snail as a pet, and that's fine, Gary is… well, he doesn't do much, but he has a good heart. But if SpongeBob had just waited a while, he could have had something more intriguing, a snailfish. Researchers from Newcastle University found three new species of snailfish living in the Atacama Trench, a long and deep scar on the seafloor that runs along the Pacific coast of South America. At less than 12 inches long, this unique new species is perfectly adapted to life in perpetually dark water near freezing, and under immense pressure. And they look curious. Their bodies are transparent and jelly-like. Their only bones are tiny networks in the inner ear that allow them to orient themselves. Scientists noted that the fish doesn't fit the usual stereotypes of deep-sea creatures. These fish don't have gnashing teeth or creepy bulbous eyes. They are small, pink, and jelly-like. I'll be honest, none of that makes me feel feel any less freaked out. So if SpongeBob tires of Gary, he'll be comforted to know that he can just get a new, weird gelatinous fish to hang out with. Maybe call it Jerry? Gelatinous Jerry. Jelly Jerry. I mean, honestly, the episodes just write themselves at this point. Number 18. Deep Sea Viperfish. I've long held the belief that any animal found in the deep ocean is inherently terrifying and or creepy. And it seems I'm absolutely right. They all have weird teeth, goofy eyes, and sinister intentions. And I frankly do not want to live in the Mariana Trench if the neighbors are all like this. Maybe the viper fish will be different. The viper fish boasts a very unique appearance and is one of the most popular fish in the deep sea. It's also one of the most dangerous and most fearsome predators. The fish can be recognized by its large mouth and fang-like teeth that are so large they cannot fit inside the fish's mouth. So they do the next best thing. They curve back very close to the fish's eyes, 
totally not creepy. These sharp teeth enable the viper fish to attack prey by swimming at it at high speeds and impaling them. It's not a great way to go. Shock and, well, internal bleeding, but we're not finished yet. The viper fish has a dorsal spine and a photophore, a light-producing organ. The viper fish will use this light organ to attract unsuspecting prey by flashing the light on and off like a flashlight. Okay, so in conclusion, the viper fish is not different at all. If anything, he's more terrifying. I mean, flashing a light to draw clueless prey in? Walking around with your teeth in your eyes? Hard pass, my friends. Hard pass. Number 17. Deep Sea Hatchet Fish I live by a very simple rule for the animal kingdom. If the animal has a name that somehow incorporates a weapon, it's not to be trusted. That rule has saved me from such fearsome creatures as the bow and arrow bear and the broadsword bird, but now it's time to meet another, the hatchet fish. The deep sea hatchet fish takes its name from the odd shape of its body, which resembles a hatchet, a kind of axe. The hatchet fish has a flattened body with large tubular eyes pointing upwards. The largest species, the giant hatchet fish, can measure up to six inches long, but that doesn't really mean anything, because in all, there are around 45 species found in depths ranging from 600 to 4,500 feet, so no two species are alike. That's actually kind of terrifying, but more terrifying, the hatchet fish can be found in oceans and seas around the world, with the greatest population in the waters of South and Central America. Is the hatchet fish going to try and attack or kill a human? Probably not, but then I don't want to be the one to find out. Again, all I know is that you stay away from someone with a weapon in their name. That goes for humans too. Sorry, Axel loving Alan. I'm not going near you, buddy. Number 16. Dumbo Octopus when Walt Disney and his team released their classic Dumbo in 1941, I'm sure he was hoping, praying, that it would live on forever. And by live on, I mean become the name of an octopus in the future. Well, Mr. Disney, your dream has come true. The Dumbo Octopus group lives in the deep sea, open ocean, at depths of 13,100 feet or more, making them the deepest living of all known octopuses. Obviously, life in these extreme depths requires remarkable adaptations, including the ability to live in freezing water and in complete darkness, but Dumbo octopuses are naturally rare, so they've developed a unique reproductive strategy. The females carry eggs in different stages of development, and they store sperm for long periods after mating. This makes it possible for females to fertilize their most developed eggs whenever environment mental conditions are suitable for reproducing, even without the presence of a male octopus. I'm sure many human women would also like to live without the presence of a man. As for why it's named the Dumbo Octopus, I think you can tell right. Those fins are so big they look like giant ears, hence the unique choice of name. It doesn't hurt that many people think these octopuses are cute. What do you think? Cute or creepy? Let us know in the comments. Number 15. The Barrel Eye Fish since you clicked on this video, you can rest assured that we know exactly what you're here for. You want to see weird, kind of unsettling animals that are lurking at the bottom of the ocean. Well, okay, they don't come much weirder or otherworldly than this. The barrel eye fish, truly one of nature's more bizarre creations. Someone was high when they made this one. The barrel eye fish is an unusual deep sea fish with barrel shaped green eyes. But the eyes aren't the only odd thing about this creature. The barrel eye fish is known for its transparent head, which it fills with fluid to direct its eyes upward and forward. Totally normal, right? While lying motionless in deep sea waters, the barrel eye turns its green capped eyes upward to see its prey. And also jellies, which often provide food for this fish. Yeah, totally normal. This is a 
phenomenal example of what you find at the bottom of the ocean. It's not some kind of adorable fishy utopia. It's a home for some of the weirdest looking fish you've ever seen in your life. Honestly, I'm starting to think that the Mariana Trench is so unexplored because people are too afraid of the ugly fish. Who can blame them? Number 14. The Frilled Shark Okay, so we've talked a lot about fish so far. Maybe it's time that we venture into a whole other area of marine creature, sharks. Well, this is not your average shark. Not by a long shot. Some people seem to think it's more like a snake. And yeah, their eyesight is fine. The frilled shark is named for the red fringe around its neck. Its first pair of gills actually cuts completely across its throat, unlike other sharks, whose gills are separated from one another. But the scientific name for the frilled shark, Chlamydoslochus anguineus, refers to how its body resembles a snake. Anguineus in Latin means snaky. According to scientists, the shark likely launches itself into prey like a striking snake. Okay, well I thought sharks were already terrifying, but clearly I was wrong. There's always more fear to be created. Cool. But let's just end on one more terrifying fact, shall we? The shark's jaws end at the back of its head, so it can open its tooth-filled mouth wide enough to engulf prey that is half as long as its body. Fun, right? Not at all terrifying. It's absolutely nothing like that very visceral nightmare I had. Absolutely nothing like it. I'm fine. Number 13. Fangtooth I'm sorry to say it, but we're about to see even more terrifying deep sea animals, so I hope you're ready because this one is maybe on a much bigger scale of freaky than any of the others we've seen so far. Let's meet the animal often described as a living corpse, shall we? This horrific looking thing is the fangtooth. Yikes. This deep sea creature is the ultimate carnivore. It eats anything it can kill. The fangtooth has the largest teeth proportionate to their body size of any fish in the ocean. They're easily identifiable by their large head, massive jaws full of monstrous teeth, and an ugly corpse-like appearance which is honestly hard to forget. Fangtooth fish live in a region called the Twilight Zone, located more than 3,000 feet deep. This part of the ocean gets little to no sunlight, which is kind of a blessing when you look like this. Do I even have to go into detail about how creepy and unsettling this animal is. The thing looks like it died twice and got reanimated. It's truly one of the most unsettling animals living on our planet today. The shark from Jaws is starting to look like a little puppy, isn't it? Number 12. Benthicodon I know the name sounds like it's some kind of chemical additive or drug, but it really isn't. The benthicodon is much more interesting than something added to Coca-Cola to make it taste edible. It's actually one of the world's most curious looking jellyfish. Who'd have thought? In a remote region of the Pacific Ocean near American Samoa, a remotely operated underwater vehicle spotted this luminous sea creature and quickly concluded that may be a completely new species. A remote operated vehicle exploring 9,800 feet below sea level encountered the ethereal cosmic jellyfish hovering near the previously unexplored seamount called U2 Seamount. An invertebrate biologist initially identified the creature as Benthicodon hyalinus, but his conclusion was later reversed to add that there's a possibility it could be a new species. So this could be a whole new species of benthicodon? Isn't that cool? Okay, so cool may depend on your definition of the word, but in my eyes, discovering new species is always a very cool thing to do, especially when you're exploring an area of the world as strange and intriguing as the Mariana Trench. And come on, it's way more interesting than an additive added to Coca-Cola. Although, I'm sure there are many of those yet to be discovered too. Number 11. Megalodon You know him, 
You love him. Jason Statham once kicked his ass. I'm talking about the Meg, of course. This is apparently the most hunted shark in all of history, which is ironic in its own way because, while it would be kind of hard to miss it if you saw it, it's like not noticing the rock. Guys, the size of a building. Despite being extinct for millions of years, sightings of the giant megalodon have been reported throughout history. But can they be trusted? Let's take a look at a few. In 1918, New South Wales fishermen said their nets had been stolen by a huge shark, which they claimed was the Meg. In 1933, a report insisted that a sea beast with an enormous brown tail had been spotted off the coast of French Polynesia. A 2018 video filmed underwater at the bottom of the Mariana Trench appeared to show a giant shark roaming the sea floor. And the most recent of all, on May 27, 2021, a 17-foot behemoth shark circled a cruise ship full of terrified tourists in the Atlantic was compared to the prehistoric megalodon. Now, the question is obvious. Were any of these reports actual legit sightings of the Meg? And the answer, scientifically speaking, is probably not. Since the animal is extinct, but I'm not a scientist, so I'm just gonna say yes to all of them. Number 10. Plastic. Everybody knows that the pollution on our planet is out of control, and it's getting much worse as time goes on. But just in case you needed even more proof of how bad the situation is, this guy took a dive into the Mariana Trench and found an unexpected new animal, trash. In 2019, Victor Vescovo made a record-breaking dive in the deepest place in the ocean, which of course we all know very well. Vescovo spent four hours hours exploring the bottom of the trench in his submersible, built to withstand immense pressure, and found sea creatures and, yeah, trash. A lot of trash. Plastic bags, candy wrappers, you name it. This isn't new, however. The phenomena has been observed by previous lander missions. Millions of tons of plastic enter the oceans each year, but where most of it ends up is still unknown. Biologists are now testing creatures they collect to see if they contain microplastics, a problem recently found to be widespread even among animals in the deep. This is something scientists have been warning us about for decades. The sheer amount of garbage that's making its way to the ocean is a serious problem, especially when animals eat that trash. Man, modern life is depressing, isn't it? Let's hope for something a little more uplifting next, like animal karaoke. Number 9. Western Pacific by a twang. And my wish has come true. Now, generally speaking, it's not often that you hear animals singing out loud. Maybe birds, sure. Dogs? Dolphins? Okay, I destroyed my own argument. But usually you can tell what animal is singing, but there's one animal that seemed to defy any and all identification. And I can't tell you what it is, because I don't know. According to recent findings, an otherworldly noise recorded underwater near the Mariana Trench could be a never-before-heard whale call. Wouldn't that be something? Scientists believe that this newly discovered Covered call, dubbed the Western Pacific Piatwang, might be from a mink whale, which is a type of baleen whale. No matter what species made the call, it's pretty impressive. This whale's vocalizations have a wide range of frequencies, ranging from as low as 38 hertz and as high as 8,000 hertz. That's almost as impressive as my vocal range, which covers one song. YMCA? Hey, it's a good song. So, will the Biotwang ever be identified? There's no way to know that for sure, but I'm hoping it will. An animal with a voice and range as beautiful as this one deserves to be known all over the world. And the whale should be known too. See what I did there? Talking about myself. Classic. Number 8. Coelacanth. Some living animals on this planet are so old, they're basically prehistoric. That's not an insult, by the way, uh, well, mostly not an insult. It's a fact. Let's meet one of these ancient creatures, shall we? The coelacanth. 
This very strange looking fish is one of the oldest species in the world and is considered by many to be an actual living fossil. Against all the odds, a living coelacanth, a fish previously thought extinct for over 65 million years, was first caught by a fisherman off the coast of South Africa in 1938. Since then, live coelacanths have been spotted several times in the wild and have become the subject of an extensive quest by curious fishers everywhere. Coelacanths are some of the largest fish in the sea, growing to an average of 6.5 feet and weighing up to 175 pounds. Their skin is a deep blue, thought by most scientists to help protect them from predators, and they have a unique eye type, enabling them to see as much as possible in these darkened environments. I often warn on this channel against the idea of a Jurassic Park type scenario in which we bring prehistoric animals together. I stand by that. We must keep scientists away from the coelacanth. Yeah, I know it already exists. It's a slippery slope, you know. Who knows what else they'll do with it? Number 7. Comb Jelly I guess the big question when it comes to deep sea creatures is creepy or not creepy? And that very much depends on what you define as not creepy. If you don't like animals that slink around and get colorful, you're not gonna like this dude. Comb jellies, or tinophores, are colorful creatures that move using eight rows of cilia. When the cilia beat with coordinated motion, they cause light to scatter, producing a rainbow effect, comb jellies break light into color components by using their beating combs as prisms. Using special receptors, some species can even create their own bioluminescence. Comb jellies are carnivores, and sometimes they use sticky structures on long tentacles to capture prey. When the prey is within reach, the comb jelly contracts its tentacles to pull it in, then passes the food to its mouth. It sounds creepy, but it's basically what we do, minus the fingers. In my opinion, the ability to produce a curious rainbow color is enough to charm me. I'm very easy to please. I can't speak for others, of course. Colorful jellies with tentacles may well be a divisive topic. I don't know, I've never brought it up over a family holiday meal. Number 6. Sea Cucumber one of the animals nobody ever seems to talk about is the sea cucumber, and I kinda understand why they're a little weird, and you probably wouldn't want to eat one. But that doesn't mean you can't find it incredibly fascinating. The sea cucumbers found at great depths are often described as far more beautiful than shallower specimens. Their body walls are almost entirely transparent, making them stand out among deep sea communities. Their internal organs are clearly visible. This is because they have more of their body in the form of gelatinous tissue than collagen, which reduces their overall weight and allows them to swim faster. Yeah, cucumbers can swim. What? You didn't know that? Okay, so in conclusion, deep sea cucumbers are very weird. I'm still not sure that I ever need to see the internal organs of any animal, but I do appreciate Mother Nature for giving me a taste of what it would be like. Thanks, I hate it. Number 5. Zombie Worms Whenever people hear zombie worms, they immediately assume that the worms are out looking to feast on brains. Wrong. The deceptively named zombie worm, discovered in 2002, doesn't crave brains. It seeks bones. Is that better? Uh, probably not. Scientists first found the Ocetex worms, living in the bones of a rotting whale, on the deep sea floor some 10,000 feet deep. Since then, a wild 26 Six Ocetic species have been identified by the World Register of Marine Species. Instead of eating mineral bones directly, zombie worms digest fats within the bone, but their eating is quite different from ours. They don't actually have a mouth or a stomach and can't really chew up food, so how do they do it? They secrete an acid from their skin. The acid dissolves the bone 
freeing up the fat and protein contained within, then all that symbiotic bacteria living in the worm's bodies digest the fat and protein. Pretty gross, eh? Ocetics acquires nutrients from the bacteria inside their bodies. By some unknown means, they may simply digest the bacteria, or nutrients are somehow transferred to the worm. But they get it somehow. While Ocetics are best known as scavengers of whale remains, they have been found on fish bones and even the bones of cows. Let's not question how they found cow bones in the bottom of the ocean. That seems like a mystery for another time. Number 4. Vampire Squid so we've dealt with the zombies and now we've come to the vampires. The vampire squid is probably not as famous as the vampire bat, but it arguably should be. This thing may not be quite as dangerous, but it sure does look like Dracula, and that's close enough, right? The vampire squid may look like both a squid and an octopus, however it's neither. Its limbs form two tentacles and eight arms, and as for that name, the vampire squid squid is named because of its dark color, reminiscent of a bat, and because it has a cape-like structure of skin connecting its multiple arms. Again, this thing looks so like Dracula. It's wild. Vampire squids have two filaments, but they can only extend one of these structures at a time, which helps them overcome energy deficiencies in areas where the concentration of oxygen is low. So there you have it, the vampire squid it doesn't fly, it doesn't drink blood, and it doesn't sparkle in sunlight. But if you're looking for an animal that cosplays as the world's most famous vampire, you don't need to look much further than this guy. Number 3. Anglerfish as we approach the end of our list, it's a good time to restate the obvious. The deep sea is full of animals that scare the absolute bejesus out of me. It's like the place that animals go to get weird, and from the looks of it, they absolutely succeed. But this guy, this guy is something else. The anglerfish is without a doubt one of the most terrifying creatures in all of the deep sea. Anglerfish hunt like fishermen, waiting for unsuspecting prey to blunder into their territory, or to be more accurate, luring them to their doom. The anglerfish uses a modified luminescent fin ray to draw other fish close, then devours its prey. Whether you think that's genius or nightmare fuel, you have to give them credit for at least standing out in the world of undersea terrors. The anglerfish truly does stand out. In an undersea world filled with truly disturbing and ugly fish, this one has found a way to go beyond mere frightening appearance. It's also mastered the art of deception in a way that leaves me with deep bunnies. Run away, little fish. Don't go into the light. Number 2. Goblin Shark it might be really going out on a limb when I say this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. None of the terrifying horror icons and monsters created in movie history have a thing on the goblin shark. I'm sorry man, this thing is another level of scary, one of the oddest and most terrifying looking sharks in existence is the goblin shark. This deep sea creature looks like it crawled straight out of some sort of prehistoric nightmare. This particular shark is not large, nor is it fast, but it was held in such awe by the Japanese fishermen who encountered it that they likened it to ancient demons. One of the most compelling aspects of the goblin shark is that we don't really know anything about its lifestyle. There are still many questions to be answered, and no one can definitively say what its mating habits or birthing process is. The largest recorded goblin shark measured a whopping 12 feet, and it's unclear how big they can get. So yeah, they're a terrifying enigma. That really just confirms my initial suspicion. These things are more terrifying than anything you can see in movies. Nobody even knows anything about it. Come on, you have to admit, that's pretty frightening, no? Number 1. Granrojo Jellyfish 
All right, well, in this long list of crazy and freaky looking animals, we have to end strong, right? And for once, we're not going to end with a terrifying or unsettling animal. We're going to look at a rare, truly fascinating animal in the Mariana Trench, the Gran Rojo Jellyfish. First discovered in 2003, the Gran Rojo Jellyfish can grow to over 3 feet in diameter. These jellyfish are rarely seen due to the depths that they live at, but one unique quality makes them stand out from other jellyfish. Their four to seven arms, which are used to retrieve prey. Despite being rarely seen or studied, the Gran Rojo jellyfish is believed to be similar to other jellyfish in some fundamental ways. For example, it doesn't have a heart, bones, eyes, or even a brain. As far as they know, it's composed mostly of water. Usually, when we say an animal doesn't have a heart, we're saying it in a negative and slightly fearful way, but today we're just fascinated by it. How can an animal survive without a heart, eyes, or a brain? Then again, that could describe several people I know. What do you think is the weirdest or scariest thing ever found in the Mariana Trench? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.